South Africa's capital city now up for grabs. The metro has been under DA control since the last local elections. The party's 2016 election victory saw Solim Simanga donning the Tswane mayoral chain. He promised better service delivery and clean governance. I want to talk to the residents from my heart today. But previously disadvantaged communities in townships say they've been left disillusioned. This resident from Nelmapius says the last five years brought her no hope. DA and ANC are fighting on positions, but they don't look down. They make uh, uh, promises and don't fulfill it. It's frustrating because why they budget for things, but they don't bring the things to the people. The DA rose to power in Swane after the ANC was paralyzed by infighting over its mayoral candidates. <laughs> In 2016, the DA received 43% of the votes and the ANC 41%. The EFF emerged as a kingmaker in order to govern. The DA formed coalitions with smaller parties. But its marriage to the EFF was often characterized by turmoil. Coalition sometimes is like a marriage that you have been forced into. And that's where we saw divorces happening in this coalition. And that made the ordinary people of Tswane, smaller villages, townships, suffered like access to water. The two parties seldom agreed on pivotal governing issues like budgets and communities were at the receiving end of the coalition conflict. Take a drive through Esteras. You'll find that there's raw sewage. As we, as we, we have this interview now, raw sewage flowing into the river. Chaotic billing systems, another crisis that left many residents frustrated. Most of these things are estimated. It's not, not a true reflection because no, there's no meter readers. So service delivery to me is pathetic. And just next to Easteras, Mami Lodi residents unhappy about crime. So you are very scared this nowadays. Really, really, really. Another issue in Ward 86, now Marpius, no police station. When you want to make a, a, a complaint or report a crime, you need to go on a taxi. Those living in Swane's affluent suburbs have a different view. He did well, and very well, if I may say that. How do we measure that very well? Yes, very well. I, I measure that very well in terms of the services being provided via v what I experience in other spaces. I'm a resident of Swane. The DA's reign in Swane has not been easy. Msimanga faced several motions of no confidence, another blot unqualified senior staff in his mayoral office. His reign took a further knock after the illegal 12 billion rand Glad Africa tender. This also forced the resignation of city manager Dr. Mwegedze Musola, who was linked to the tender. Months later, Msimanga was replaced by Stevens Mukhalapa, but he too couldn't serve with integrity. Misconduct linked to an alleged sex tape scandal cost Mukhalapa his job. We have seen the, se the scandal, sex scandal with the mayor Mukhalapa in their offices. That's what they were doing, nothing else. Mukhalapa was replaced by Randall Williams, who also faced a slew of challenges, including many complaints over poor service delivery. He was removed from his position after the Gauteng government put the city under administration. Ten administrators took over the governance of Tswane. The role of bringing administrators, would, it will not be a panacea or a remedy to solve corrupt tendencies that have been there. But the country's courts later declared the decision unconstitutional and Williams was back at the helm of Tswane. His administration came under fire for failing to resolve the Amanskral water crisis. Fine people of Amanskral are drinking contaminated water. Seven parties are represented in the Tswane Council. The DA leads with 93 seats. The ANC has 89 seats and the EFF 25, followed by the Freedom Front Plus. Smaller parties include the ACDP and COPE. Over the five past years, the Tswane Council, often a scene of fights compromising service delivery. The issue of coalitions, it seems that we are playing with the electorate's emotions. The battle for the soul of the capital city rages on. The political machinery is out in full force. Tswane has 229 wards with over 600,000 eligible voters. 
In areas such as Nomar Pierce, electioneering has changed many things overnight, but residents here say they are not sold. Now, Mar Pierce is one of the communities in Tswane that's plagued by poor service delivery. And just like other communities such as Easteris, Mami Lodi, Etridgeville, the northern townships, people here too say that under normal circumstances, their communities are much more dirtier than we currently see. They say as we approach elections, these rapid clean-up campaigns are observed in their communities. And now people in Tswane say that they hope this spirit can continue continue long beyond the election campaigns. Patricia Fasahi, SABC News in Elmar Pierce, east of Pretoria.